Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna paint a super easy rainbow trout ghost pattern and we're starting right now. Alright, let's begin guys. So I got my lure blank here from lure blanks. This is a, a nice little drag bait with some holographic foil inside. And that's why I want this to be a ghost pattern. It's going to be super simple, only a few steps, but still that holographic foil is going to shine through here and there, which just adds a little extra to this bait. And I have to say when it are light conditions you're fishing in, a ghost pattern tends to light up a little bit more in the water when it catches light and it feels brighter. Right, first up is some wicked silver or any other silver pearlescent you want. And we're gonna do the sides and the the back of the lure, not the belly. Um, but we're gonna use, we're, we're gonna do a little bit less on the sides and we're gonna go a little bit heavier on the back. You can also do the gill plates a little extra if you want to. Oh, there we go, super simple, just some silver. All right, next up is some detailed moss green. Now, if you don't have detailed moss green, you can also take just regular transparent green and mix it with some transparent black or uh, even with some wicked black or um, with some transparent blue just a little bit just to darken up that green a little bit but moss green is a really nice color if you have it you can use that if you don't have it just try to mix a little bit of darkest green it's just gonna, it's gonna work just as well so I'm only gonna do the back now we're gonna do a light coat first on the entire back. The more you build up this color, the darker it will get. So we want it a little darker at the head. All right, and now comes the fun part. So I'm gonna put this aside for a second. I'm gonna take a piece of paper to show you guys. I got some opaque black in my chamber, reduced with a little bit of 4011. Nothing special. You can use any kind of black you want. As long as you can reduce it a little bit so it's more thinned down, you can use any black you want for this. I lowered my air pressure to about less than 5 psi, I think. It's barely, barely anything coming out. Now, I am gonna play with my trigger and I'm gonna let it shoot. So I'm gonna press down for air a little bit and play with the trigger. And as you can see, like that I can splatter and just play a little bit this until you feel confident and not pressing down for air too much because then you will get like you should air, like when you airbrush you get a really dark spot and you only want to splatter so really carefully just play a little bit the trigger now, of course, if you have a nice stencil, you can use a stencil, but the, for the sake of this video, and especially for beginners who don't have the stencil, I'm going to show you the splatter technique and the kind of result you can get with that, because you don't necessarily need a stencil. You can do it with this technique as well. So I'm going to aim at my bait, start playing a little bit. And just splatter under until I am satisfied with the result. I'm gonna shoot a little bit on the back as well. And don't worry about the tip dry. Just leave it on there, it doesn't really matter. Like so, super simple. Now we got our black spots on there. Now, some of you might wonder why did we do the black spots already and why didn't we do them as last? That is because 
when you're doing this kind of splatter effect you don't have full control over where you where you want these spots to be and how big you want them to be so that's why we do them now and now we're gonna come back with white and do the belly so then this way we are sure we have no black spots on our belly our belly is gonna be nice and clean nice and white like a little trout should be that is why we already did the black spots There we go, and now we covered all the black spots that were on the belly that we don't want to be there. So now it's got a nice and clean white belly. Now for the pink you can do a few things. You can either take fluorescent pink if you want a fluorescent pink line on there, you want it to be very bright. I'm going for a little bit more of a natural pattern here, so I still have white in my chamber, it's opaque white. And I'm just gonna try to add a little bit of red in there. Just one tiny little drop. There we go. I'm gonna mix that up. If you're not sure about the color, take a piece of paper again. And as you can see, that's a nice pink. It would fit or lure perfectly. So I'm happy with this mixture. So we're gonna go with that. Now to apply these lines, if you look at a rainbow trout, at a picture of a rainbow trout, a reference picture, then you can see that these pink lines most often are very crisp they're not faded out so if we would freehand this we will we would have to come in real close to make sure that our line would be crisp and not faded out so if you're doing small lures I have a little trick for this which uh, is very helpful and it's gonna save you a lot of time and of course you can do it on bigger lures as well I just take a piece of masking tape here and I rip it in two super simple that easy. Now sometimes I do like to make it a little bit more uneven and hollow as you can see. So I like that. I always like irregularity in my lures. looks more realistic like so we got our pieces of masking tape now I always stick them on my clothes a few, a few times before I put them on the lure very simple just I own a dog and a cat so I have no problems getting any hair on that tape and it's gonna stay on the tape as well it's not gonna transfer to your lure so don't worry about that but it just makes the tape way less sticky as you can see so you got some fabric on there some hair and everything and that is gonna make your tape less sticky alright so we got a masking tape here which is way less sticky because it doesn't need to be that sticky it's just it might even rip off some paint and you don't want that we just put it on there how we would like it to be you can also still adjust just a little bit I want that big dent out now I got masking tape on my masking tape line it out how you want it want this to come up a little bit more and just lift it up on the belly it might show a little bit more that's no problem and we're gonna go down here like so now we take the other piece and we just align it super simple just align it how you want it you got full control over this you decide how this is gonna look I want this to be a little wider now just spray some pink over there now I like to layer my pink quite heavy 
so you don't see any of the of the black spots anymore on the underneath the pink but you can also do a lighter coat so you still see some black spots here and there underneath the pink that's up to you how you want it I just can remove these pieces of tape there we go super simple now I want some more pink on the gill plate super easy super simple we're gonna do the other side there you go guys now it's just some ice we need to put on a clear coat of lure and then it's finished so I'm just gonna put the eyes on that come with the blank which are regular natural silver eyes now it's time for a clear coat so guys there we go a really nice metallic back rainbow trout ghost pattern it's a really easy great beginner lure pattern and for sure it's gonna produce some fish no doubt about that if you like these simple and easy lure patterns let me know in the comments down below also if you know any patterns and you're wondering how to do this in a simple and easy way let me know that as well in the comments down below thank you guys for watching and see you next time bye bye